Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Asus VivoBook 16. This is the X1605 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to go to the bottom case where we can take out your screws. So as you see here, you've got four screws along this bottom edge. You've got two screws here, two screws here, and two screws in the middle, giving you a total of 10 screws. After all those screws are removed, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your cases a little less than metal ones do. But you're going to take it and go around the outside edge, the seam, between the bottom case and the palm rest, and gently but firmly pry the bottom case off from your computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck in, in one place, leave it, go to the other edge, and work your way around in the other direction. This one wasn't too difficult to take off, just so you're aware. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a quick side point with computer repair, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to the tools and supplies that I would use on this model computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model VivoBook. So here's your battery right here along the bottom. To get this battery up, there's four screws, and it's plugged into the motherboard right here. Now, if you see in, in your plug, guys, there's a metal part right on top that holds down the plastic plug. So to get this off, you're going to slide that metal part up to free this up, and then you can snap that right off, up and off of your motherboard to get that battery out. Now, for the battery specs on this, uh, this was an Asus brand name battery. The model was C31N2201. This was a 42 watt hour battery, 11.55 volts. I will have that information below in the description if you want to search for a battery replacement on your own. However, I will have a, a couple battery replacement options below in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts for this computer. And I guess the last thing I'll shout out before ending the video, if your computer's not turning on, if you're having trouble getting it to power on, it could mean that you need a battery replacement. However, most laptops should still function with a bad battery if the computer's plugged into your charger. So if you're trying to troubleshoot a computer not turning on, there will be a link above. I'll also have it below in, in the description. It'll be a troubleshooting video for a computer that's not turning on because it may be something other than a bad battery. I'll also have that video as the end video. When this one's done playing, it'll pop up as the next suggested video. But this is how you would access a battery in a VivoBook 16. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right-hand side, you'll see the Super Thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your Cash App. Find me at dollar sign PC Helper. You can leave a dollar amount, and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.